Man City take on Leipzig. The odds on this one, Leipzig at home, plus 352. The draw is plus 285, and Man City is a short-priced favorite at minus 130, 131. Uh, Nick, I'm going to go to you first on this one. Uh, I'm leaning Man City. Uh, I get it. Leg one, if it was at home, I'd be all over Man City, but the line would probably be about minus 275 in that game. Uh, it is a tough one. Leipzig plays them tough and have played them tough uh, in, in the past. This is what, and, and beat them, I think, uh, in last year's Champions League in, uh, in the group stages, winning at home 2-1. So uh, they're obviously not afraid of playing this Man City team. Um, I expect to see this one with some goals in it. Uh, um, I like City here. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I like City. I'm, I'm not going to pound my chest on why I like City. I just like City in this one. This is their tournament to lose, uh, unless you can convince me otherwise. Well, I'm struggling with the side, Carm. Um, I think City's going to advance over the two legs without much question there. This match has me a little tripped up as far as the side goes, so I'll stick with my theme of the day. And look to the under. Uh, Bundesliga, as I mentioned before, looks to be Pretty, performing pretty well in this Champions League. Very strong results so far. Both Bayern and Dortmund won uh, last week. And Man City, the concern I have is just, you know, they clearly have just not been the same team away as they've been at home. Um, you know, even their inability to beat lowly Nottingham Forest this past weekend. And sure, you can point to a look-ahead spot here for the, this Champions League match, but they really can't be affording to drop points in the Premier League. So disappointing result to say the least. Uh, but they have just one win in their last five away matches. That win, very good win, a huge win, 3-1 over Arsenal. But they also lost 1-0 versus, uh, versus Tottenham, 2-1 versus United, 2-0 versus Southampton in the EFL Cup. Other away results that are, are notable this year against quality teams, 1-0 win versus Chelsea, 1-0 versus Leicester. Uh, they lost 1-0 versus Liverpool. And then a couple of Champions League group stages, 0-0. Uh, against Dortmund and nil-nil against Copenhagen. I know that Copenhagen match, there was a red card involved because I was on City in that, um, and I, I distinctly remember that. Still, it just proves that defensively, they continue to do what they have been doing, which is hold a lot of possession, which kind of makes their defense play a little easier because they don't have to you know, tire themselves out, and they do a good job there. So they haven't been letting up goals. It's just they clearly are not scoring the three to four goals that we usually see them at home. Carm, you, you mentioned a lot on this show there their prop of uh, Manchester City win and over three and a half goals coming through in damn near every game this year uh, in the Premier League. But that clearly is not the case when they get on the road. And you look at Leipzig, they know how to play at home. I mean, they've been very, very solid. They, they lost a surprising loss, uh, 1-2 against Union Berlin at home in their most recent game. But they did bounce back on the road at Wolfsburg 3-0 over the weekend. But that, that loss versus Union Berlin was their first in September, a run of 18 home matches unbeaten which includes Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. So clearly they can get results against the best clubs. They've also beaten Leverkusen and Dortmund, um, two other obviously very solid clubs. So I think Leipzig can get a result here. If they're going to do it, it's got to come on the deep defensive end. This is a – if you do not get a result at home versus City, you have no chance uh, in that second leg. And Leipzig cannot get into a run-and-gun type of a match with this team. So kind of like I, I suggested with the Frankfurt uh, side against Napoli, it's – the better offense on the road here, and I think the home team has to try to play a little conservatively, defensively, and try to live for that leg too, and they got to get a result here. So I just see it playing a little slower here in this one. I'm getting plus money on the under once again. So under two and a half, guys, theme of the day, a uh, little plus money price, but I don't, I don't see a lot of action in this one. All right, Nick Borman of Sports Memo. He is leaning a lot of unders uh, this week to see <laughs> if it goes along with what we saw last week. Kev's gonna, we'll have a recap at the end of the show, uh, which is coming up uh, shortly. But, uh, you know, when I look at this game uh, again, and I mentioned, and you look at Man City, uh, the I think the times in which they've struggled, and Pep has kind of played around with this lineup a little bit. Uh, he's uh, he's rested Kevin De Bruyne uh, in a few games, and those are the games that they seem to struggle in uh, in getting any any type of service to, to Erling Holland. He doesn't get a lot of touches, has to come up higher up the field to – to even get a touch and get the ball. So, um, but but they've got their full lineup here, Kevin, uh, in this uh, uh, for this game here. The only player missing is uh, is Stones. So City will have no Stones on uh, Wednesday. Uh, give me your thoughts. 
Well, surprise, surprise, I'm going to disagree with Nick. <laughs> I, <laughs> although I will agree with him on the side. I, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure about City here either. So that's why I opted to talk about the total in this one as well. Um, but I like the over, you know, offensively at least. There hasn't been, you know, there's been a slight drop off, but it hasn't been all that precipitous. That's a big word. Uh, for Manchester City this season. You know, they still rank number one in scoring offense in the EPL. They still rank number one in offensive XG. They average 2.33 goals per game across their six group stage matches in this competition this season as well. But defensively, uh, that's been where the drop-off has occurred for them this year. You know, Ederson hasn't looked nearly as effective in nets as he has in previous seasons. Uh, Manchester City have allowed 29%. That's massive more goals in the EPL this year than they did at the same time last season. Um, and their defensive XGA numbers are much worse as well. And, you know, those really aren't the type of stats you want to be having going into face this RB Leipzig team in Germany. Um, they've been absolutely red hot at home this year offensively. You know, they're averaging 2.30 goals per game inside Red Bull Arena this season. Um, they bagged six goals over their final two group stage home matches in this competition as well. And, you know, that front contingent of Andre Silva, Christopher Nakunku, Dominic Sabozlay, and Timo Werner, the great Timo Werner, um, Danny Olmo out through injury in this game. But that's, you know, that's some serious firepower up front. And I'd be surprised if City, you know, can shut them out here. So, you know, a 1 1 could be a possibility in this one. Um, you know, I do ex- expect it to be tight. Uh, but from a straight totals perspective, I think, you know, you, in my opinion, if you play this game 100 times, I think it goes over um, more times than it stays under. So, yeah, I, I quite like the over 2.75 goals in this one for me. All right, Kevin Dolan, wager talk. Let's just rent the octagon next Tuesday, throw you and Nick in there, and we see who comes out. <laughs> 